Hey math besties! Let's learn how to multiply using equal groups. In equal groups, the first factor tells us the number of groups we're going to draw. And the second factor tells us how many objects we're going to draw in each group. Then we count all the objects and we get our total, or our answer, also known as the product of multiplication. Are you ready to try this new strategy out? Let's go! Okay, besties, so we have our problem 2 times 7, or 2 groups of seven. So we're going to go ahead and follow these three steps to figure out how to use equal groups to solve this problem. So step number one, it says to draw the groups. So the first factor tells us how many groups we're going to draw. In this case, we're going to go ahead and draw two groups. One, two. I like to draw them like really big so that when I draw the objects inside, it's easier for me to count. All right, now step number two, it says to draw the objects inside. So the second factor tells us how many objects we're gonna draw inside of each group. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and draw seven in this group and seven in the second group as well. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and I'll do the exact same thing right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now step number three says to count the total of objects. So I know I have seven here, so seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So our total or our product is 14. So two times seven is 14. All right, besties, are you ready for example number two? Let's go. All right, so for example number two, I have five times four or five groups of four. And I'm trying to figure out what the total would be. So step number one, I'm gonna look at the first factor and draw the number of groups. So in this case, I'm gonna draw five groups. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and step number two says to draw the number of objects. So our second factor tells us how many objects we're gonna draw in each group. In this case, the second factor is four. So I'm gonna draw four here. One, two, three, four, four here. One, two, three, four, four here. One, two, three, four. Yet again, one, two, three, four, and one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, besties, there. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and do step number three, which is count the total of objects. So I can count one on one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to the end, or I can skip count by four. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20. So our total or our product is 20. All right, Bessie, so just to let you know, this equal group strategy is really good when we're multiplying one digit with one digit. Once we start multiplying bigger numbers, this is not the best strategy to use because we'd just be drawing so many circles, so many groups, so many objects, it would just be a lot. So like I said, this strategy is really good when we're doing one digit with one digit. All right, Bestie, so I taught you two examples on how to use equal groups. So go ahead and grab a paper, a pencil, or a whiteboard, and let's do some problems together. Let's go! It's Bestie practice time. Feel free to pause the video or go along with me for more guided practice. All right, so number one, we have three times six, also known as three groups of six. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw three groups, so three big circles. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw six objects inside of each of these three circles. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'll do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna count the total. I can count one on one by one, or I can skip count by six. Six, 12, 18. 
So my total or my product is 18. All right, besties, let's go ahead and do number two. Four times seven or four groups of seven. So I'm gonna draw four groups, one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw seven objects inside of each of these groups. So seven there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And last time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, stop. Now I'm gonna count the total or in circles. I can count one on one or skip count by seven, seven, 14, 21, and 28. So that is the product. All right, good job, besties. So now we have number three, which says six times three, or six groups of three. This looks pretty similar to number one where it's three times six, but the factors are flipped. So I wonder if we're gonna get the same answer. Let's figure it out. So I'm gonna draw six groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm gonna draw three objects in each of the groups, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, <laughs> One, two, three, and one, two, three. One last one, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna go ahead and skip count by three. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. 18 is the product, and guess what? I got the same answer. So this is known as the commutative property that we can flip the factors and we still get the same answer in the end, even though the representations look different. All right, let's go ahead and do number four. All right, besties, so we have eight times two or eight groups of two. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by drawing eight groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then go ahead and draw two objects inside of each of these groups. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skip count by two to get the total, it's just quicker. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. So our product is 16. Good job, besties. That's the end of our math lesson. Thank you so much, Math Bestie, for learning with me today. Make sure you keep on practicing to make math easy peasy.